Hey guys, it's Laura Morano here, and I played Ali in Austin in the Alley. What's up? I'm Ross, and I played Austin. Hey guys, what's up? It's Randy Rodriguez, and I played Trish De La Rosa on Austin and Alley. Hey, I'm Caitlin Worthy, and I played Des Wade on Austin and Alley. Des Wade. I love that everyone gave Wade. their last names for their characters. Should I, I know. Do you guys the fans are gonna love it. Des Wade, though. Des Wade. Wayne Wade. Because he's Wayne Wade Wade's cousin. cousin. I audition with Ross and Rainey, but there's a, obviously a few other people there. Ross, I'm not sure how you didn't know you got it because at the end of the process, there was one person for Austin, Ross, there was one person for Trish, Rainey, and there were two girls for Allie. So I actually had no idea if I got it or not. Um, and then we found out we got it. Kayla wasn't there, but I'm sure he was the last person too because everyone, like the moment everyone meets Kayla, everyone was like, you're the best guy ever. No. I remember one specific thing from the audience that actually made it into the show over the course of time. Anytime Ross or Laura will do anything remotely cute with their characters, the audience would go, aww, like that. So then it became a joke that like when we would rehearse and we would do different things like different scenes. In one particular one, I remember when Ross had Dougie the dolphin and he was like, Dougie! And the whole audience was like, aww. And then the writers like caught on with that and then they would hear the audience and then our characters would start doing it in the show. So that's actually something that came from the audience because they had the greatest reaction to that. I mean, there was, audience shows was amazing. We would pick out our theme songs for the night what we'd come out to depending on the episode. So like if the episode was about yes! like a break, oh, yeah. we, came out to, we came out to Taylor Swift's um, uh, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. Like when it was like a breakup episode or like for our, for our first um, episode of the season and our last episode of the season, we would always come out to We Are Family by Sister Sledge. Aww. Just because like, we felt like it, like, that was the, the, the theme of a show, is our family, so. You always told that story where you're like, Ross is in the corner with his guitar being all cool or something like that, Where's, right? You weren't being cool, you were just playing on guitar. You were just like. <laughs> I was just shy, honestly, that's all it was, I was shy. I was gonna say, that's my word for you. Well, Rainy, when did we actually meet? Like, when was the first time we met? I want to say the first time we met was actually in the Disney building. And I want to say we were going in for the table read or something of that nature. And wow. I don't know why we were both in the Disney building at the same time, but you were sitting across from me, you and your dad, Mark. And I remember like both of us just kind of looking at each other. And then you, I think you were like, so are you playing Trish? Because I, oh. I, I get it. I like, I see it. That's literally what you said to me. And I was really? like, I am. I was like, are you Austin? Because I get it too. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I see it. That's <laughs> funny. That's so funny. You have such a good memory, Rainy. I actually met Laura when we were like, when she was like, what, like eight or nine? And I was nine. like 10 or 11. We actually worked together on a TV show called Huff on Showtime. When we very like, when different show than Austin and Allie. <laughs> very different. Don't watch it. It's very adult. Don't, don't watch it. But I remember meeting Laura in that moment and we instantly becoming like best friends. <laughs> okay, so now Laura, what about Calum? First impression, um, first time you guys met. Calum, um, well, to be honest, when I first met him, I was taken aback with how like cool and calm he was because the character of Dez is so out there and so zany. And I really was kind of struck. I felt like Ross, Rainy, and I all had similarities for our characters, and I couldn't see the similarity between Caleb and Des yet because he was so cool. He was like, huh? "Really? Just you are. You're so smart. You're so I'm. I I will go forever just complimenting Caleb." But yeah, he was. I was taken aback of like, "Oh, he's not what I expected for Des," and um, he was so Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Canadian! Oh no! <laughs> no, but Sorry. but it was. When, when I read with Calum, actually, because I had the same impression. I was like, yo, this guy's so cool. Like, I, okay, I guess he's going to play Dez. And then once you started being Dez, I was like, oh, no, that's Dez. Uh, I couldn't believe how talented he was. Um, because we, were, we auditioned together. That was the first time I met him. And uh, he was, like, singing and playing his guitar. And then we went to the audition, and he was hilarious. And I was like, this guy can do everything. This is insane. And uh, I remember just thinking he was so cool. Like, I was like, this is a guy I want to hang out with. That's what I felt with, because uh, I hadn't met Laura yet, but I met Rainy and Ross at the audition. And I was like, I just want to hang out with these people. And then when I met Laura, I was like, I feel like we're a cool crew. So I was just, even when we were doing the pilot, <laughs> He I met was, me and he's like, like, nah, I don't know. <laughs> dude, Caleb, I don't know if I ever told you this, dude, but like almost throughout the whole show, I was like, man, I just want to be funny like Caleb. 
Really? For, oh, like, dude, I, I was looking up to you, man. Like, yeah, dude. Like, I mean, like, obviously, like, everybody was funny on the show for sure, but it was just like, yeah, man. Like, I was just trying to keep up with you three. Although my favorite guest star would have to be my brother. My brother got to guest star on the yeah. show. And that oh, was Oh, he got to be in the Boy NATO band. Rico's right next to you, Randy. Rico's like, come on. He is, come and he's on, blushing buddy. hardcore right now. Is he he's in like, there? Why would you do this? Is he around? Is he there? Yeah. He is. Hey. Hey. <laughs> was there? <laughs> that was always so cool because you guys have so many siblings. And I'm, I'm an only child. So I, I really enjoyed hanging out as like a, a sidekick to your families. <laughs> Well, what's so fun about Austin Alley is that our last episode goes, flashes forward 30 years, right? But there is that, like, little bit of time we don't know what would be happening. So I think, I think Austin and Alley would have been going on tour and working on their kind of collective careers together. Um, and I, I, I think, though, Alley would still figure out some way of trying to manage the store and manage the school situation um and she might be going through a little bit of a a crisis right now because of the <laughs> intense. that's what i think <laughs> i love that now austin what about you like what kind of dad are you oh i feel like oh, we have kids dad, sure. yes you've got kids yeah 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 it wasn't was it a boy and a girl right or yeah it was girl. a boy and a girl and they look just like mini me's of the two of you. I feel like Austin would be a great dad, though. He'd, like, be teaching him piano and guitar and music. I thought you were going to say basketball. Basketball's cool. Well, I just love the... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my movement? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he wants to be a director, so I think he would be directing. Um, I think he'd be making some cool stuff. I see him making stuff kind of like uh, Taika, the director of Jojo Rabbit. Yes! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Wow! Together, as their adult grown-up selves, where are y'all going on vacay and who is in charge of planning? Wait, guys, before anyone answers, be really careful because that could be the spin off movie. That we make. So this is really what I'm saying. Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. This but, is where but the movie We're already in Miami, place. though. But, like, let's go to Hawaii, like, actually. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. If we're going to do a movie, <laughs> we might as well do it in Hawaii. I'm, I'm might as well do it in Hawaii, everybody. What about and space? I think, I space. think, I like I that. Think character yeah. outer space. I think character-wise, Allie would plan it, but I think real-life, people-wise, I feel like Rainy would plan it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was in charge, like, like, Laura and I would do, like, lunch orders, like, because we would order, like, sushi every Thursday, so I would run around and get, like, everybody's lunch order, like, we would get Jamba juices or, like, things that we, like, or, like, Chick-fil-A, and we'd run out and go grab stuff, so, like, I was, everyone called me, like, the mom on set, because I was always in charge of just taking care of everyone and sort of like uh just organizing everything so definitely i would most definitely do that i say thank you for all those times you made my life <laughs> a lot easier i actually want to shout out rainy because i also feel like the reason a good a big reason why we have the fans we have is because of all the content that we had and we wouldn't have that content without rainy truly like if it was up to me ross and calum we just would never take pictures or videos or anything. I would have and, just been ping pong in the office. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like, literally Rainy, and Rainy had this amazing ability of being able to like have us all take a picture and have a video. And it was like always super fun. Oh, Rainy, I thank you. Because the fans <laughs> love that content. And